Meet the fastest voice AI ever. It replies before you finish talking. Hey there, I'm Tara from the Oracle Guy support. How can I help you today? I wanted to buy a hoodie. So do you guys sell hoodies as well? Yes, we definitely sell hoodies. We have a bunch of cool designs. Are you looking for something with a specific theme like AI, tech culture? What if your next support agent wasn't human, but nobody could tell? It answers instantly, it sounds real, and it works on your website or even over the phone. That's what we are building today, an AI voice agent that actually talks back like a person and does it faster than any human could. Today we'll be using 11 Labs Flash version 2. It's the fastest text-to-speech model they have ever built. And yes, it sounds good, but speed alone doesn't make it useful. To actually replace a support agent, you need more than just a fast voice. You need logic that handles real conversations, memory to track context, and a simple setup that actually works on your website or phone system. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to build that without getting stuck in complex code. We'll stitch together an effective agent with real-time tools, plug it into a basic conversation framework, and by the end, you'll have a working AI voice agent, not just a cool demo. It will take you 15 minutes and what happens when it starts handling customers for you. We'll be using 11 Labs to build this tool and you can open the link in the descriptions to open 11 Labs and you can create an account here. I've already done that. Now, once we are here, you have to see that there is a section here for conversational AI. Just click on that and it will take you to this space. Now here is where the magic happens. So you have this button called agents here. Click on this and you will be greeted with this screen. Now you have pre-filled templates of four types here. You can either create a support agent, mindfulness coach, sales agent, or a video game character. Most of the businesses would want to either create a support agent or a sales agent. Today, what we'll do is we'll create a support agent for my newly launched store called the Oracle Guy, where I sell t-shirts inspired by AI. You can check this store out as well. I'll put the link in the description. It has really cool collection of t-shirts related to AI. You have catchy slogans like may the AI be with you. I prompt AI delivers. And here you can find round neck t-shirts, sweatshirts, as well as hoodies. So now let's move to 11 labs. So now we'll select support agent. So what this does is that it gives you a nice template of a support agent and now you can modify it as per your business requirement. We'll start with the first configuration under the agent tab. Here you have to set the agent language, which is the primary language of the agent. And if your website supports multiple languages, you can select multiple languages from here or if you want it to support all kinds of languages, if you ship worldwide, then you can select all languages. I'm currently only keeping it to English for our test. Now, this is the first message the AI would speak as soon as the call gets connected, either through the website's widget or through a phone number. So it says, hey there, I'm Alexis from 11 Lab Support. How can I help you? So I want it to be from Oracle guys, so I'll just change it to the Oracle guy support. How can I help you? I can change this name as well. For example, I can say that I am Tara from Oracle guy support. How can I help you? And next we have the system prompt. This is the most critical part of configuring an AI voice agent because here we define the entire logic and the personality of the AI agent. So to understand in detail, so let's click on this learn more button. And this takes us to this detailed prompting guide. It's a very comprehensive guide here. You can understand each and every section. So you can see this prompt has different sections one is personality another is environment and then the tone which the agent should follow and we have further details like goals guardrails so let's understand them one by one first is personality it's basically the identity core traits and the role that you are giving to the ai agent what backstory that you want to give and they have even provided examples for defining a personality for example if you want an expressive agent personality you can use this kind of a template where 
you ask your agent to speak calmly and empathetically, always validating the user's emotions. Another example is of a task-focused agent personality where we tell AI agent to be friendly, solution-oriented and efficient. We ask it to address customers by name, politely guiding them toward a resolution. Once you have your personality sorted, then next comes the environment. Now it captures where and how under what conditions your agent interacts with the users, what all modes of communications are possible. For example, if you are publishing your agent only on your website, then you tell the agent that you are available only through the website. And if you are also making it available through your phone, you tell it that you are also available through the phone so that the caller feels that it is a real person who knows everything about the business. Next, we have the tone. And this tone should reflect how your brand treats your customers. If you want your agent to be very formal, you can do that. You can also ask it to add disfluencies and filler words so that it sounds more authentic to the customer. We have two or three examples as well here. You can ask it to speak with gentle, thoughtful pacing using pauses. Now the goal section of the prompt is really difficult to create because it needs to have all these things, primary objective, logical decision pathways, user centered framing, decision logic, and finally the evaluation criteria, which tells us that we have achieved the goal or not. And you can see here in this prompt, we have categorically told the agent to follow these tests. For example, we are asking it to do an initial assessment. We are asking it to do a diagnostic based on the assessment. Then we are asking it to implement a resolution for the customer. Eventually, we are asking it to do the closure process where it is verifying all the reported issues and documenting the root cause and resolution. You will have to carefully think about your business model and see what's the goal you are trying to achieve with your agent. So this is really important guys then we have this another section this is really important because we are paying for each second when we are using our ai agent so we do not want it to go off track we would want it to stick to the objective that we had provided for a customer service agent we have these guardrails for example we are asking it to remain within the scope of company products and services and we are asking it to politely decline requests Finally, we have tools. Now this tool is not mandatory to provide, but if you have a custom website developed by your own team, then you can pro even provide tools to your agent to further enhance its capabilities. For example, it can execute actions on the behalf of people. For example, a simple use case would be that for items which are costing below five dollars you can provide automatically refunds to the customers you can provide an api to the agent now instead of writing this system from from scratch for this video what i'll do is i'll copy this from here and i'll ask ChatGPT to write one for my business to speed up the process for me so i'm just pasting the entire prompt here asking ChatGPT to write one for my business so let's see what it comes up with it has created the prompt that we wanted then we have our llm setting now it provides all the latest models here from google we have gpt we have claude the gemini 2.0 flash model from google is quite fast so we'll be using that so next setting is temperature this is used to control the creativity of the model which is gemini 2.0 flash so ideally you shouldn't touch this setting until unless you know what you are doing next setting is the knowledge base this is quite critical to provide the context to the agent for example if you have a policy document related to your refund policy or return policy you can add here so that the agent knows that what policy has to be followed for each query that user might have so either you can create a url you can upload files or you can even paste the text directly add url is a good feature because for example for my website i have this returns and faq page so i'll just copy this and provide it to the agent I'll also use terms of service page as a knowledge base and I'll also list all the products which are available on the website as a knowledge base. The agent is aware about the products available on the website. Once you have done that, you would want to turn on this use RAG button because RAG increases the agent's maximum knowledge base. What it will do is it will pull the data from all these sources and create a RAG index, which will even further increase the speed of information extraction from
on the knowledge base. Then you have options to add tools as APIs that we had earlier discussed during the system prompt guide as well. If you want to add a tool, so what you can do is you can click on add tool, click on custom tool, and then you can enter the API details from your website from where the agent can take an action using that tool. Now let's move to the other settings. So you have this voice, so you can use all kinds of voices. We have certain voices which are perfect for conversational AI. So let's see how this cast. I just love sounds. talking about movies, you know, TV shows, really anything that's in the yard. So use my voice for those kind of projects. This is much better and it sounds like a support agent. Now next is use flash setting. This is the actual model which does all the magic which is released by 11 Lab. This is the fastest model on the market. It is blazingly fast. As soon as you ask a question, it is able to come up with the answer instantaneously. And they have recently released the version 2 of it. It is even faster than the version 1. And if your business uses certain words which are not correctly pronounced by the AI agent you can even add pronunciation dictionaries using this method then you have this setting called optimized streaming latency if you increase this the latency would get reduced but the quality might suffer as well so don't change it until unless you are not getting the expected speed that you are looking for and then you have stability speed similarity settings that you have in standard 11 labs voice generation as well you can change them if you do not like the delivery that is being done by the AI agent now the next tab is the analysis tab this will allow you to analyze the conversations that agent have with your customers. So what you can do here is you can click on this add criteria. Now you can find the success criteria of the goal. For example, your agent is for customer support. Then you can define here what would be treated as a success. So let's again use chat GPT to write a prompt for us. So we'll just write here success criteria. Now you can add multiple success criteria if you have different workflows that you have in your agent. Next is the security part of this. Now if you do not want your agent to be open, for example if you add this as a widget on your website and you do not want it to interact until unless the user logins, you can enable it and then you can provide a callback URL here which will enable agent to sign in. So I am just turning it off for now for our test. In advanced settings, you have certain options which you can change. For example, you can set turn timeout. It is the maximum number of seconds since the user last, last spoke. If exceeded, agent will respond and force a turn. It will again prompt the user to say something. And then you have privacy settings where you can opt for storing the call audio. If you do not want them to be stored, you can turn it off. Final tab is for widget and you can see here at the bottom right corner as soon as we open that tab we can see this kind of widget would be created as a AI agent on your website to use this kind of a widget on your website what you have to do is you have to copy this small script and place it in the head tag of your website so even if it is a low code platform like Shopify or any other platform you can add this in the head tag of your website there are settings to do that and you can even change the colors as per the branding on your website for example you do not want this button to be in black in some other color you can change that and then even you can update the terms and conditions so it is fully customizable widget before placing this widget what you would like to do is use this button which is called test AI agent. So what it will do is it will run the AI agent with all the configurations that we have done till now. And this will bring us to the screen. Now we'll have to click on this button called call AI agent. Hey there, I'm Tara from the Oracle Guy support. How can I help you today? Hi Tara, I had ordered a t-shirt but by mistake I have ordered a black color t-shirt but I wanted to order a blue color t-shirt. So what can I do for this? Hey there, I understand you accidentally ordered a black t-shirt instead of blue. Since our products are made to order, cancellations or amendments are possible before the order goes into production. Do you know if your order has already gone into production? If it hasn't, you can use the link in your confirmation email to edit it. If it has, I can help you explore options for replacement or resolution depending on the situation. Okay, that's great because I ordered it just five minutes ago. I can definitely go and edit it. Awesome. You should be able to change the color then. Is there anything else I can help you with today? That's it, Tara. Thanks a lot for your help. Happy I could help. Have a wonderful day.
So guys, you can see it wonderfully understood the policy that we had mentioned. So let's see what was written in our FAQ. So you can see here in this section, it is clearly written that you can edit your order at any time before it goes into production as it was told to us by our support agent. So you can see how accurate the information provided by the agent is and it was quite professional, quite authentic. It didn't feel to us that it was a robot talking to us. It felt like it was a human talking to us. So let me know in the comment section, how did you find the agent? Was it good or was it not so good? So guys, now I've added this agent to my website and you can see the widget is available here and it only took me a minute to add this widget as an AI agent here. So let's test it here how it works here it is asking me to accept the terms and conditions. I click on agree and I'll allow the access to my. Hey there, I'm Tara from the Oracle guy support. How can I help you today? I wanted to buy a hoodie. So do you guys sell hoodies as well? Yes, we definitely sell hoodies. We have a bunch of cool designs. Are you looking for something with a specific theme like AI tech culture or yeah. maybe? Okay, cool. What kind of theme are you into? Maybe AI puns, something related to coding or more of a general tech vibe. Yeah, that should work. Okay, great. I can give you a couple recommendations. There is the I prompt AI delivers hoodie or the AI doesn't judge yet hoodie. Does either of those catch your eye or should I keep digging? Oh, this one I really like. I prompt AI delivers hoodie. Let me check it out. So guys, it is working and the link that we had provided to our products, it is able to store that as drag. One thing I did not like is when I clicked on this link, that particular call got disconnected. I expected it to continue in the next page as well. So this is a nifty little widget which works seamlessly on my website. Let's talk about pricing. This looks great, but how costly it is to get this cutting edge technology integrated on your website. Let's see the pricing tier. So you can see if you are on a starter plan, which costs around $5, you get 50 minutes of calling time from the agent that you have created. Even on free tier, you get 15 minutes of uh, calling time, which is good enough when you're testing it. And if it works for you, you can upgrade to a starter plan. And as your business grows, you, you can keep on upgrading it. In the creator plan, you get 250 minutes, which is around four hours. And then you have billing of 0 0.12 per extra minute. So it's not that cheap, but it is cheaper than hiring a person and paying him salary, especially when you are small and you would not want to have a dedicated support center. And you'll get this kind of a agent which knows in and out about your business and can get any answer related to your business within seconds because everything is stored in the knowledge base that you provided to it. So once your agent is ready, you can even connect it with your phone number. So you just have to click on this phone numbers menu and then you have to click on import a phone number and then you can just give the name and then you have to add your phone number and currently it supports only Twilio. So you would need your Twilio account SID to be added here. You can find your Twilio SID by going to user settings and you'll find your SID here. So you can copy this and then add your SID here. You'll have to add the authentication token here as well as well as the phone number. And once you click on import, your phone number would be imported here and then you can connect your phone number with your agent. It's that simple. And then you can even check the call history. You can check the calls that have been made by the agent, whether it was successful. And if there was a failure, then you can analyze those conversations. You just have to click on those and it will give you a complete overview of it along with the transcription. It will tell you what was the conversation about and, and what was the connection duration and what was the cost in terms of credits of 11 labs.